For today's art project, we are gonna be making happy little trees. What do you know about trees? You're kind of like a tree. Every year, trees grow and grow and grow and get bigger and bigger and bigger and stronger, just like you. So today we're gonna make happy little trees and I need you to think of something that you want to get better at this year, a way that you want to grow this year. So here's my example. I'm just gonna flip my tree over. See, it's a happy little tree. I want to be a better reader. So after we make our tree and before we color our tree, you're gonna have to write right here what do you want to grow and get better at this year? So how did I make my tree? We're going to use something called the line of symmetry. Symmetry, get it? It's a tree to make our tree. The line of symmetry is an invisible line that divides something right down the middle. And when you have an object with a line of symmetry, the left side and the right side are identical. They match. So if I were to fold right here on this dotted line, the left side and the right side are gonna match up perfectly. So take your sheet of paper and you're gonna fold it in half in the middle that is your line of symmetry okay now take your pencil and you're going to draw half of your tree your tree could be a pointy tree like this or it could be a bubbly tree this time i'm going to draw a bubbly tree so the top of the tree has all the leaves and the bottom of your tree is your trunk. This is just half of your tree. If you were to open it up on that line of symmetry, you would have the other half, but we don't have to draw that half because we're gonna cut along what we drew. If you wanna do a pointy tree, I'll show you how to do that. Take your piece of paper, fold it in half to create that line of symmetry. And if you look at this, what shape do you see over and over? There's a triangle. That's kind of like a triangle. This is a triangle. So we're gonna start at the top and draw a little triangle. And another triangle. He's just missing the tip at the top, but it, just pretend like it's under there. See, like that. You could even draw it. It doesn't matter because we're going to cut it out and use the other side. So our next step is to cut along the outside edge. So, I'm going to cut this one. It's going to cut here. When you open him up, you'll see your tree. Every tree might look different and that's okay. So same for this one, if you did this tree, I'm just gonna cut along the edges. And you don't have to cut exactly on that line you drew. You're, we're gonna put that part in the back anyways. So if you don't cut exactly on the line, like me, Every tree is different. So instead of putting this side up, you're gonna put that on the back 
instead of putting this side up, you're gonna put it on the back. So I've got my two trees. So in the middle, you're gonna write your growth goal for this year. I wanna be a better guitar player. I wanna get better at math. Maybe you want to be a better artist. Whatever it is, I'm gonna write it right here in the middle and then you can decorate your tree. So one way I decorated my tree was to put a smiley face. I also outlined my tree. You can do that and then just start coloring away. It's your tree, you can make it how you want to. I would not color over where you wrote. What's gonna happen if you do that? Exactly, you're not gonna be able to see your writing. So maybe don't do that. But if you want to color over that area, I would use a lighter color. So maybe a yellow. So I can still see my writing underneath. I can't wait to see your goals for this year and how you want to grow just like these happy little trees.